I hope you're all having a fabulous holiday season, and that even if you have to work, your shows have at least opened, so you're off of the 10 of 12 days. I hope that everything in your world is merry and bright. For me, the trade show madness has passed, my issue has gone to bed, and I've even taken my vacation. So all the worrying about having to meet the right people, make all my flights, and make all sure all the must-do happenings happen perfectly, all that's passed. Heck, I even finished my Christmas shopping last night. All of which means that it's finally time for me to relax. As I switched into full-on comfy mode last night, including sweatpants, hot tea, a roaring fire, and the BBC's Pride and Prejudice on Netflix, courtesy of the wife, I was able to start thinking about all the theater I'd seen this past year. I'm blessed in that I got to see a lot of good theater last year, and the bad theater that I saw has thankfully fallen from my mind. So here's a list of three shows that I really loved last year. First up is The Tempest at the Smith Center. This was a co-production between the Smith Center here in Las Vegas and American Repertory Theater in Boston. It was originally conceived by Teller, the magician from Penn and Teller, so of course Prospero's magic was stunning and beautiful. What I didn't expect was just how romantic the show was. Under Aaron Posner's direction, this show was just enchanting. And the actors, um, Charlotte Graham, who played Miranda, and Joby Earl as Ferdinand, they made a giddy, fizzy couple that I just couldn't help falling in love with. Fox Finder by Don King also received a production here in Las Vegas. Part psychological thriller, part family drama, and part cautionary dystopian fable, it was a great show from a new theater company here in town. And the amount of effort and talent that went into it makes me feel really great about the rising table of talent here in Las Vegas. And finally, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime from London's National Theater on Broadway. I knew to expect the visual fireworks of the show as they represent how the main character, Christopher, views the world through his autism. But I didn't expect them to be in service to such an intimate, intense family drama. There was certainly flash here, but the show's emotional levels and its ambiguity were stunning as well. But it's almost a new year, so I'm excited what will be coming in 2015 as well. I'll be working on a new project about steampunk origami, and a local theater company here has the rights to Mr. Burns, a post-electric play, so I'm really excited to see that on its feet too. So that's me. But what about you? What were your favorites from 2014? What are you looking forward to in 2015? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next month.